Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can undo changes to a SharePoint list. Uh, so here's an example. I have this project list. It happens to reside on this uh, company internet site. And um, I want to edit this, let's say, in a grid view and make some changes. So here we go. You know, I made a change. I, uh, let's say, I want to tag this, change the status of this from, uh, you know, from uh, active to closed. And you know what, let's make this change as well right here. I just made another change pretty much because I'm in the grid view, I can easily, uh, you know, make changes to the, um, uh, you know, just by dragging and dropping cells, all right? And um, oops, you know, I made a mistake. I need to go back. How can we quickly do that? Uh, we are easy now with this undo button right here. So it works just like in Word or Excel, right? Uh, you can undo, you can redo. Uh, so let me go back to how it used to be. All right, perfect, that's it. Uh, and I just pretty much restored all the changes quite easily. So in case if you are maybe editing your grid, um, right, you may be modifying a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, uh, choices. And uh, let's say, you know, for example, right by accident, I drag this and overwrote a bunch of rows, no worries. You can easily you can easily restore the previous change just like you can in Word or Excel. All right. Uh, now uh, a couple of things I wanted to mention, um, you know, for you um, to you. So uh, this feature undo redo only works in grid view. All right. So if I were to let's say uh, added this uh, entry right here, just a single entry, there is no uh, undo redo button. If you want to restore an individual row you will need to use uh, version history uh, and uh, something I will describe in a different video in, uh, a little bit later. Uh, but uh, the undo, redo buttons are only available in grid view. Also, I happen to access this list from directly from my SharePoint site, but if you navigate to your lists app, which kind of pulls all the lists from all the sites you have together in one spot, here we go. I can access the same, this is the same project list. And again, you know, if I uh, if I modify it in, uh, in in the list app, I still have the undo redo buttons as well. So um, that's all there is to it. Uh, very uh, simple, but yet very powerful feature. Um, and um, I'm sure you will get to use it. So that's all I wanted to show you today in this particular video. So hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.